Okay, I wanted to give a short video here showing the new laser host that I just received from Hanoi, Vietnam a few days ago. This is built by Trin, and I'm not going to try to pronounce the rest of his name, but you can find him on the forum, and I've linked to his his forum member name on, on this thread that I'm embedding this post in, or this video in. Wanted to show you the optical chamber. This is where the, or for this diode I'm using, the NUBM 44, about seven watts of 450 nanometer blue, uh, is going to mount uh, into. Actually, the diode's already mounted. You can see it in there. The DTR host is in there, and and the Sanwu G2 lens that is really needed to be paired with their beam expander to work right in this host. So you want to get one of those, and not somebody else's G2 to work with the 3.3 expansion factor Sanwu beam beam expander. They, they listed as 3x, but it's really 3.3. Okay, to show you how well this fits together, you'll hear it when I slide it in. Listen to that. That's a close tolerance. It's really close. I cannot see a gap there. I believe you could put some heat, heat sink uh, material on here. Uh, paste to help transfer between the heat sink fins and this body but what I'm thinking might be a better idea is just to put a couple of set screws in to push this against the body really hard from one side and then maybe you won't need that heat sink compound and be able to uh, use it that way without it getting too hot and risking <clears throat> migration of the the compound onto the lenses is one thing I'm worried about. This tolerance is so tight, my thought is once you put the heat seat compound or a little bit of it on here, it's going to stick pretty good in there. And then you'll probably have to take off the beam expander and push it out with a dowel rod if you want to remove it. <clears throat> okay, the way this was built, that's a pretty deep chamber in there to fit the uh, DTR module and he put two set screws. I don't know what Trin's idea was for the second set screw maybe to allow the module to slide back and you could still hold it down. I didn't ask for that uh, but that's what it came with and I'm happy he did it because if you do it that way I don't need to put the, the black box 6 I was going to use for the constant current regulator for the diode inside the module that the diode itself is mounted in. I don't want to do that because that module is probably going to be hot enough already. Why have the driver in there that even adds more heat directly to the same module? So what I want to do is use a second module. This is the back end of another DTR 20 millimeter module. What I'll do is I cut off, I'll cut off a little more than a quarter inch off this end so that it's just an open tube and put a hole through the top so that I can adjust the black buck if I need to at some point glue the black buck down in here, and then put that in as a second module. If you cut off that quarter inch, there'll be enough room, it won't be too long. If you don't cut off the quarter inch, they both won't fit. This will be hanging out a little bit, and then the assembly won't go together. So it does need to be shortened to get this, this end off here. Uh, you don't need that anyway, and I, I think it's better than having a half moon piece of copper because uh, you'll have the full circumference against the walls transferring heat rather than just half of it, which is better even though it's thinner up the side walls, you still have a good path to, to trans, transfer heat that way. Okay, that's how I'm gonna do mine. I need to get something to drill that hole. I don't have a drill press here, but I'm gonna go looking for one today. When my cylinder pairs come in, I'll be able to put those in. In the meantime, I wanna try it out without them and just see how well that beam expander works with this diode alone. If you guys have any suggestions or think of a better way of doing this, let me know, I'd be glad to hear about it. Here's a quick look at my, my kitchen table actually, since I'm living alone here in Qatar till my wife gets here. There's my power supplies, they're high current uh, switching power supplies, but they're pretty good ones. They don't have any uh, high frequency noise. You just gotta make sure to disconnect your diode or don't have it connected when you're turning it off and on, they can spike. Even with these nice ones, it, it will do that one of them well. Here's, here's some parts I can show. Uh, kind of difficult to see what's in there, but I got a lot of my DTR stuff. 
modules and, and shims and more modules. More modules. Um, got some bucks over here. Uh, a lot of astral drivers. So I've gone crazy on buying stuff while I'm here because I'm so bored. But uh, there's my collection of goodies I've accumulated here uh, and a shelf of some other stuff. You would think I would have some better tools if I can buy all this junk here, but this is all I have to do in my time off is play with lasers. Okay, guys, give me a shout or post your own video of what you're doing. I'd sure like to see it. Thanks.